of the hour. I'd like to introduce Qbert out of San Francisco. Um, Noodle Scratch Pickles have been pretty much the top notch pinnacle of scratching in the modern era. Grand Wizard Theodore invented the scratch, but Q and Visible Scratch Pickles just took it to the next level. <laughs> who, are, who are you? Where do you come from? In 1985, oh man, 85 is when I first started. I was like 15. Um, UTFO's DJ, Mixmaster Ice. And he's the guy that came out with a new scratch every time. And I was like, whoa, you know, that's, that's how you do it. You gotta come out with something different every time. And I was like, the first rule we learned, me and Mixmaster Mike. Mixmaster Mike started a, a year before me, and Mixmaster Mike and I would listen to Mixmaster Ice from UTFO. So 1990 was around the time when I started developing my own style. Like, what would a space alien be doing that is really good on that planet? What would they do in that? You gonna say a question? Right after to go with the box shoe. And I'll say the answer. A kick hop, chicha fun, mega hop, blue. With the scratch, you know. I saw this guy, Christian Marclay. And he was moving the records, chopping the records, and moving the records. He put a whole off center, and I did that in the DMC battle, and used my elbow and all this stuff to make the, you know, use the fader elbow and scratch over here, make a drum beat, and just really trying to go out the box. Cool. Listen to this. It gives me a great pleasure to introduce you to DJ Shortcut. 1995, uh, we have new members in the crew, Shortcut, D-Styles, DJ Flair, and all these new techniques were coming out and we we're getting all these weird flair combinations and that was around that time I made uh, Demolition Pumpkin Squeeze music. <laughs> Crazy Legs had showed me, um, you know, Grand Wizard Theodore and Grandmaster Flash mixtapes and it was just all raw. 70s and 60s funk, and we're like, damn, that's the roots of hip hop right there. We gotta, we gotta do something with that. Now back to DJ so, in terms of your production process, a lot of students in uh, our music production programs ask, like, if you're a sample based producer, do you go for like the main sample first? You program drums first? Uh, usually for me, it's, it's the drums first because it's like, you know, the, the foundation of a house is, is, the, is the strongest part. So, mm -hmm. if you have a, like, let's say, really nice drums like that, anything you throw on top is gonna sound good. So it's almost like beatboxing, producing kicks and snares with your mouth, but you're just taking kicks and snares and isolating those elements to create brand new patterns. I mean, there's, it's all, it's all day. You're the drummer, son. <laughs> you guys got these guys. These guys can kill it on the drums. Oh, man. We were heavily influenced by jazz, so we would take all these new techniques with the flares and all that and list all these jazz artists and how they would play with time. We would incorporate that into hip-hop scratching. This guy is an old guy. So he's way advanced than all of us. I, I couldn't even touch him. Like, he's... He'd probably be way more... Like, if he was scratching, this guy would be like, um... Uh, say, like, uh, the dopest scratcher at age 60, right? I'm only, like, what, 20, 25, 26. And, you know, this guy's, like, just ahead, so it's like... 
I'm still learning from him, you know what I mean? I can't get his patterns yet, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, so we're trying to get to that level, but. Now it's more like, uh, you know, I'm really studying more jazz artists that are, are into like strange time signatures, but also there's another part of me that studies a lot of extraterrestrial life out in outer space and actually finding about, out how these people live and finding out what their type of music really is. And it's a lot, a lot of healing music. Even scientists nowadays are finding out the sound can levitate objects. And so these are, these are things that I'm going into in, in that musical realm nowadays and trying to find out what, what it is um, that makes people in other worlds click with music. I had a dream, I was like, what if you were on a different planet and they had scratching but they had no mixers? So I was like, okay, well then they're just gonna be using the turntable then. So we had to practice all these things. And then I saw Rocky and he had his hand behind his back. So I was like, okay, well, let's do that then. If you are funky without the fader, just doing hand motions and hand techniques the way Q was just doing, then the fader is just an on and off switch. So it doesn't matter where you're incorporating that because it's just an on and off switch. The musicality and pitch control is in your hand. So the, t the two albums, one is Extraterrestria, which is like music from outer space. And then the other one is uh, Galaxian, which is music from Earth. In outer space, they have a Galactic Music Federation, Galactic Scratch Federation, whatever. And so this album, Extraterrestria, is a collection of all those sounds from all those different planets, different music from all those worlds, dimensions, whatever you want to call it. And then we have here on Earth, we tried, we tried to send our hip hop to them and put it in that Galactic Scratch Federation. So we have this album, Galaxian, which is an import from Earth but it didn't make it because we still fight over here. Everyone's still talking about sex in the wrong way, uh, drug abuse, and how you call it? We're not ready for seeing our space brothers yet because we're too warlike. You know, we're making this uh, cover. You open up the, the cover and you can control the, the music with your hands through Bluetooth. <laughs> We have these vinyl records that are, like nine, imagine nine records in a square, and they're cut out in puzzle pieces, puzzle shapes, so you put them all together and it makes a giant graffiti piece. It's really nice. It's, it's higher than just making music, you know. There's an intention of, of, of making people feel better with, with your art. We're trying to be on the side of light in hip hop, you know, trying to be doing good, and we just want to do it from ourselves. We don't want to sell out, we just want to make art. Basically. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.